a life science researcher has a liberty to choose any field of research based on their interest from the wide array of research areas such as molecular biology cell biology genetics biochemistry and animal or plant biotechnology each field has its own sets of experiments requiring different techniques and the use of different lab instruments but no matter whatever words you want to write you must learn the alphabet first in a similar manner each researcher needs to learn some useful lab techniques to be efficient in wet lab experiments let's have a look at the top 10 lab techniques every researcher must know stay tuned Number 1 blotting techniques Blotting is the most common lab technique widely used in the field of cell and molecular biology for the identification of different biomolecules such as DNA, mRNA and protein. Sufficient hand-on training experience with all types of blotting techniques will help you conduct experiments and research at much ease in your phd or at work second is techniques for extraction and storage of biomolecules the most common biomolecules used in laboratory experiments include dna rna and protein there are fixed protocols for the extractions of these biomolecules and it includes the use of different reagents with different roles it is important for the researcher to learn the significance of each reagent and use it properly third must know r&d technique is gel electrophoresis for any molecular analysis such as analyzing dna rna and protein have to be done by gel electrophoresis so it is important to learn using electrophoretic apparatus and also to cast the gel properly gel electrophoresis is widely used in molecular biology and biochemistry labs in areas such as forensic science conservation biology and medicine next is microscopic techniques this is the most basic technique must know all for researchers a microscope is used widely in a huge variety of topics in science specifically to understand life at its core and to carry out crucial experiments with the constant advancement in the field of microbiology we can visualize from a bacterial plant and animal cells to the structure of macromolecules present inside the cell next comes polymerase chain reaction this is one of the most important techniques in the field of molecular biology using millions of DNA copies can be developed with just one single DNA strand as a base. Polymerase chain reaction technique is widely used in both medical and biomedical laboratories and is a prime part of almost all types of experiments. Cell culture techniques. Culturing of bacterial cells, plant and animal cells are highly essential for microbial cellular and molecular biology microbial culture is of the best techniques to study the physiology biochemistry and genetics of microbes along with the antibiotic screen 
animal and plant cell culture is essential for studying cellular metabolism and most effective method for studying the impact of drugs and chemicals. Next is spectroscopic techniques. UV visible and mass spectroscopes are mostly used for both qualitative and quantitative studies of biomolecules such as proteins, nucleic acids, etc. Similarly, circular dichroism is used for identifying secondary tertiary structural aspects of proteins, while atomic absorption spectrometer is used for the detection of metal ions in biological samples. NMR and IR spectroscopy techniques are used to analyze the structure of large organic molecules and functional groups in compounds respectively. It has a wide range of application, hence one must be thorough with this technique. Chromatography technique Chromatography is best on the principle of exploitation of the partition effect that distributes the molecules into different phases. Thus, complex mixture broken into individual components. So in other words, chromatography is a set of techniques used to separate biological molecules based on their partitioning between a stationary and a mobile phase. Flow cytometry. This is a useful technique for cell sorting, that is, separating different types of cells from a heterogeneous mixture of cells and identify multiple physical characteristics of a single cell. FACTS allows the study of multiple populations of cells within a limited time. This instrument is highly essential for cell biology and animal or plant tissue culture laboratories that every researcher should get hands-on experience in this technique soon. Bioinformatics tools Apart from being efficient in wet lab techniques, researchers who work in the field of genomics, proteomics should have a thorough idea regarding soft lab techniques as well. As most genomic and proteomic work needs updated information, so researchers should be in practice with assessing molecular and biotechnology databases like BLAST, RASMOL and others for any updated information. While these are some of the most common lab techniques every researcher must be thorough with, yet there are many more techniques in this vast field of bioscience like NGS, CRISPR, etc. Knowledge about which can only be gained eventually. To be a master of all these R&D techniques, one must have their basic concepts clear and must be thorough with all the working principles before gaining practical working experience. Biotechnica offers a lot of self-learning certification courses on various R&D techniques like NGS, CRISPR, molecular biology techniques, mass spectroscopy, and many more. Do refer to the link given below for more details on these courses. Until then, stay safe and keep learning.